Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I went to Torrid and I tried a few things on and obviously took y'all for the ride. So this right here is just my OOTD, my basic ripped jeans and tank top that I wear throughout the summer. And then these are the glorious pieces that I picked up to try on. I went a little bit crazy in grabbing stuff, but I was just really excited to be out and shopping and not buy anything. <laughs> So this is the first dress that I got, um, or that I tried on, I should say. Um, I just, I really didn't think that it flattered me. I don't know if it's the horizontal stripes. I tried on another dress like this, and the same thing. I just really feel like it accentuated my gut, especially that line right there that's like sewn in and kind of curves up. I really feel like that didn't do any justice. Like my gut has a presence on it on its own, and it does not need any assistance in that area. So I didn't, I didn't care for that. This next dress I really thought was super cute. I think um, it's just really fun. I love how feminine it is with all the floral print. Look at all that alliteration right there. Fun, feminine, floral, very flirty, okay. No, but I really did dig this dress. I didn't get it because I feel like I probably could transition it to fall with some boots, but um, maybe I can do that because I really did like it. Maybe I'll consider going back. Now, if anything I was to go back for, it's gonna be this dress. Um, I really adore this dress. And I feel like my sense of fashion has a couple of weird sides. Like I have one part of me that's like, Christian missionary circa 92 94 and then the, another part of me that's like really grungy cut jeans um, Skull prints everywhere like it's just really bizarre But this dress certainly falls into the Christian missionary side of things. Um, I really love how it's has a beautiful collar I love it buttons all the way down. I just really love the cut where it hits me in the waist I really really love this dress. It was like $60, but I may go back try and find a coupon and buy it because I like it that much this is the other striped dress that I was talking about. It's obviously just a full length maxi. It has some pockets, which I really dig, um, but I it made me look pregnant. You guys, I'm not even gonna joke. Um, it just, when I turn to the side, I look like I'm literally about four or five months pregnant, and I'm not, I'm not about that. Right there, there you go, you're welcome. Yeah, no. So I, I just didn't like this at all, so no. Um, this next outfit, it was a separate top and a skirt. I really love the color of the top. I love like the mustardy color for fall. I just really didn't like the way that it fit. I, again, I really felt like it didn't flatter anything. And then it made you look pregnant, that skirt, because it is a pencil skirt, so it's a little bit tighter. I love like the laser cut detail here at the bottom, but it made me look pregnant at the top and it went really, really high. So if I tucked the, the shirt in a little bit more, I just felt like I wasn't comfortable enough to wear this skirt alone. So it was really, it was a cute skirt. I just got I have too much gut. This is actually a skirt and a top as well. I just tucked in a top. I feel like I'm gonna show y'all my bits right there. Um, but the skirt is really cute and flowy. I think it was even on clearance, but it was just like a really flowy chiffon um, skirt. I don't know if it's supposed to go up that high, but that's how high I did it. I don't really know. Uh, and then this is the top that I had tucked in. And I'm gonna be honest, I just feel like, again, it's not flattering at all. I know that I'm plus size, I know that I need more fabric, but I feel like they're just making everything super big and baggy, and it's uh, it's just not accentuating anything. It's not giving any shape to my body, even though I'm, I'm bigger, I just don't, I don't wanna cover everything in fabric, you know what I mean? And then those pants right there, they're a 14, which I know that I'm pretty much a 14, and they were so big. Um, so I just really didn't care for any of this outfit. Um, this set of pants, the crop jeans, those were also a 14. They were a little bit big in the waist, but everything else fit pretty good. I feel like that's my problem lately is my butt and my thighs are bigger than my waist now. So things are just looser in the, in the waist. But um, this top was really pretty. It had like the lace detail right there to halfway up. I have a black tank top on that I wear all the time, so you can't really tell, but, and then I had these really fun tassels that I would be so annoying with if I actually had this shirt in real life. I would just be twirling them around nonstop. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a cute top, um, pretty basic, and I think it was like 40 or $50, and Torrid's prices are just kind of crazy, so I would never pay that much for that top. Um, but like I said, it was a cute top if you can find it on sale or on clearance or something. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I like the lace. Now this outfit, um, I liked. I like the cut of this top a lot. Um, 
it ties in the back so it's not super uncomfortable. I have some that are really tight that kind of are uncomfortable to wear. My only thing is it's not stretchy at all. And so in my gut area, because it's the biggest part, sometimes it makes it difficult. Um, it just makes me feel uncomfortable and then sitting down, like my gut pokes out. Um, the pants though, these are their like ultra skinny jeans, jeggings, and I really did like these. Um, they are a little bit baggy at the bottom just because I'm pretty short, um, but I feel like that's kind of an easy fix. I really, They were really comfortable, um, and I thought they looked really good, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, now this, oh, look how cute this top is. It's lipsticks, you guys. Lipstick bullets. Um, it's all sequenced where the lipstick is, and then it has a little bit of a sequence detail on the bullet itself, uh, or the tube itself. And it was really cute. I almost bought this last year, and I'm glad that I did it because I, I had to buy like a three or a four. Um, this one is a one, but I really still feel uncomfortable because I feel like it cuts me right where my gut is, and it kind of, it just doesn't... It doesn't flatter me. It's like the common theme of the stinking try-on session. It was really depressing. All you can see is my gut and everything. But it's really cute though. Look at how cute it is with the stinking sequence lipsticks. Oh gosh. I really, I think it's adorable. And it, this one was on clearance too. Like I said, it was from last year. So it's on clearance right now, which I thought was nice. Still like $50, but what can you do? This one, no ma'am. I felt very Michael Jackson-ish. I will bust a move for you in just a second here. Ow! Um, <laughs> and then I noticed the button details on the sleeve, which I did like, but it's just that, no, it's not, no. I can't, I can't do that. I can't pull that off. If anybody can, more power to you. It just looks foolish on me. I feel really foolish. Um, <laughs> no. So yeah, there's that. I just, I felt ridiculous. And then I tried on one more foolish thing. Hat. I try so hard with hats. It's just like lipstick. I try so hard with hats and lipstick to make them look good on me and I just can't pull them off. So many other girls look amazing in hats and I just do not. And I have a pretty big skull, but I mean, it wasn't even the fact that it didn't fit me. I mean, I don't know. It just looks silly. I was really bummed. Um, but yeah, so that is my entire try on you guys. Uh, I didn't have much success besides those two floral dresses that I might actually go back and get. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave comments below and I'll talk to you later.